Well, here we are. We've got a new project for the uh, longboat because we want it to have this nice an engine. I got the rudder shaft installed as well on that, so we're almost ready. There's the big boat there, but the big boat has a Bassett Loke <coughs> boiler, center flue boiler, and I've been looking at the center flue boilers of the day, and the Stewart center flue boiler is very nice. Uh, it has a steam dome, which is nice. So does the Bonds boiler, but the Bonds boiler is a silver soldered uh, boiler, and it has silver soldered ends. On this one, we're going to be TIG welding the ends. <clears throat> I have a 30-year veteran of TIG welding, 20 years, uh, 15 years in uh, Japan, being trained when she was young. And uh, she does scientific and industrial welding. So she was yelling at me about uh, two or three months ago, always to pressure test my seams and welds before I give it to her because she'd be really upset if uh, I give her crap. So here we are. I've got a bit of rampant solder here and here, which isn't a problem. But uh, basically, I took soap and water, very, very thick soap and water. I coated the uh, end here uh, with the rubber and totally sealed it as much as I could. It doesn't have to be completely sealed, just enough to get 10 or 15 pounds per square inch in there. Then I took a, it was a motorcycle inner tube, so I took out the valve and I stick a uh, silicone hose on here and then check for bubbles around my, my uh, silver solder joints here. This is 55 easy flow. So it's quite uh, strong and it's quite uh, hard to braze on there. So, But I got it all done, <clears throat> checked it for leaks, had to go back and get a couple of pinholes. But now we'll take it to the welding shop on Monday and we will put ends on it after we drill the huge hole for this flue. And then we'll put this on the end for our exhaust stack, which will be outside similar to the Bonds boiler. But if you notice here, there's a end cap here that's a little bit of an extra void, maybe for a draft or to accumulate more heat in the burner. And it appears on many of the uh, period boilers. This is a single flue uh, by Hamley Brothers. And uh, basically, <clears throat> we're going to have a very nice boiler that will be reliable and can run dry almost. Uh, and not be damaged so that's the key I, I don't intend on running it dry but with the TIG welding on the ends it will be extremely strong it'll be a braised uh, welded joint basically and I won't have to worry about the the larger surfaces breaking free I'll have the fire tubes if anything's gonna break it's gonna be my silver soldering but I doubt that will happen so I will give you another update as soon as possible and uh, we'll get this thing in the boat because I want to see what that boat runs like when I get it out on the lake. It's so thin and might be very, very fast with this kind of boiler on it. So we'll figure out the fire tube uh, system and basically run a superheater through it uh, just for a couple of loops, not anything crazy uh, because we won't be using a Cirrus motor or anything like that or cast motor. So here we go making a boiler. <laughs> 